John Clark with criticism swelling about the police response to the Uvalde Elementary School massacre, is what we're going to call it now. Law enforcement officials said on Thursday that the gunman who killed 19 children and two teachers entered the school without any problems. Just, just, just walked right in. They're saying he found a door that was unlocked and just went in. So was he going like, this door, no, this door, no? Like, what is going on today? Just, we believe for two days that he, like, had a shootout with some officer, and now that never happened. In, in yesterday's episode, there was so much that was still up in the air. You know, I, I said I wasn't sure who the second adult victim was. We knew there was one teacher. Well, now we know that the second adult victim was another teacher's aide. I said we weren't sure. How did he get inside the school? We've talked for a couple of days now about how, you know, to get inside our kids' schools, it's, it's you know, you have to make a blood oath with, you know, the, the secretary up front and, and provide all this identification and everything like that. So how did, how did he get in the school in the first place? Um, you know, was he engaged by an officer? Uh, where's the video at? Well, well, a lot of these questions are getting answered now, and it does not look good for the people that are that are involved that are in question here. Yeah, Barney Fife of Uvalde, Texas Police Department, not looking great today. The more and more that this comes out, the more and more you realize that all of these cops who are involved should probably lose their jobs immediately because they're not protecting and serving the community. Well, I, I don't know. Honestly, dude, I don't know where to start because there are so many updates to this that are even more sickening, if that's possible. You know, just when you think the story couldn't get any worse, you start to get a little better picture of what happened. And you start hearing stories come out about how parents were handcuffed outside the school because they were going to go in because the cops wouldn't go in and they were handcuffed for obstruction by someone on site. Are you kidding me? How pepper long were they spray. supposed to wait out there? They were threatening the parents with pepper spray. Here's the timeline of events in case you haven't been able to catch this yet. The gunfire began just after 11 a.m. The Associated Press is reporting when the shooter, we're still not going to mention this bozo's name, shot his grandmother in the face at her home. According to officials, then the shooter then posted on social media messages declaring that he planned to shoot an elementary school and drove off at high speed in his grandmother's pickup truck. At 1128, the shooter crashed his truck in a concrete drainage ditch and jumped out of the passenger side carrying a long arm rifle. He fired at two people at a nearby funeral home as he walked towards Rob Elementary, climbed a fence, crossed the school parking lot. I'm not even going to 1140 yet, John Clark. At 1128, we've crashed the truck. We're now firing at, we're, we're walking down the street with, with an AR-15. He's now shooting at two random people, Well, because that's where it basically the randomness started. But he's shooting at them. We have him climbing a fence. He's walking across the parking lots. That's a lot of activity. To For no engagement whatsoever. For no Fire. engagement and no preparation by the school. Here, here's the thing. There, there was a story. I, originally, I believe that there was a story that someone tried to apprehend him to get, in, to get into the building. And, you know, they just couldn't take him down because he was so well, I don't know, trained, locked and loaded. I don't, I don't know what you want to call it. And... You, you see the video. There's a video now that shows him walking into the school. This guy, it, it's, it's like he's out for a Sunday afternoon stroll and he's coming back home afterwards and going inside his house, left the front door unlocked when he left his house. He walks, sees the door, and then just walks right in with his gun. At 11.40 a.m., the Associated Press said he walked around the west side of the one-story brick school shot multiple rounds and entered through an unlocked door. Now they don't really clarify where he shot those multiple rounds. Was it in the air? Was it at the trees? We don't know that, but I, I am curious about where did you shoot these rounds at? 
After making his way down a series of short hallways, he turned left and entered an empty classroom. From there, he found an adjoining classroom full of students and open fire, authority said. So my next question, and you know, you know, these, these, well, they're morons who are running these press conferences. They're not going to answer this. Did he catch the teachers and the students off guard when he came in? How did he get in? How did he get into this classroom from an adjoining classroom? Was it not locked and barricaded? What happened there? How was there no communication? Male in a truck just crashed into a ditch, getting out, shooting random rounds of ammunition. How was the the school not alerted? He shot two other people. He was trying to shoot at two other people across the street, climbs a fence. The school doesn't know what's going on. The police. Yeah. They said uh, the story continues. Four minutes after the shooter entered the school, officers with the Uvalde Police Department put down their donuts and Consolidated Independent School District Police went inside, hearing gunfire. They attempted to enter the classroom, authorities said, but some were shot or grazed and took cover. Sporadic gunfire erupted as police attempted negotiations. See, that's a new detail. That's a new ripple that we haven't heard before. Right? Like, that that feels out of place because, from what we can tell, nobody went in. Right? Like, that's why all these parents were freaking out outside, because nobody was going in there. Didn't you? Didn't we yeah. say yesterday that there were 40 police officers standing outside, armed to the teeth as a bystander? Armed to the teeth? Yeah, just hanging out. Now, on Wolf Blitzer's CNN show today, a Texas Department of Public Safety official said, responding officers were cautious as they entered Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, because they could have been shot. Oh, yeah, but, well, I mean, sure. Sure, they could have been shot, but, I don't know. Kid, kids were actually shot, so there's isn't that. It, isn't it your job to, like, isn't this what we always talk about with the men in blue is that they'll go in under danger? These guys are sitting there going, well, I don't want to get shot for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares about these fourth-grade kids? I, I want to I, – I don't want to get shot. On Thursday, there was a pretty – uh high emotion press conference where reporters demanded answers and they didn't get any. I mean, they just literally got squat in that press conference, John Clark. Um, I've, I've never seen a guy take so long to say absolutely nothing. Like he was just standing up there, just, rambling 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 and every time he was pressed on a question oh i don't know we haven't confirmed it yet we haven't done this yet there are so many missing pieces to this apparently there's some radio uh footage that's missing right now conveniently during the time of the attack you know nobody nobody wants that to get out right you know god forbid we hear what was actually being said over the intercom it was probably everybody being like I'm not going in. You going in? No, I'm not going in. You going in? This uh, lieutenant who was on Wolf Blitzer said, the active shooter situation, you want to stop the killing. You want to preserve life. But also one thing that, of course, the American people need to understand, that officers are making entry into this building. They do not know where the gunman is. They are hearing gunshots. They are receiving gunshots. At that point, if they proceed any further, not knowing where the suspect was at, They could have been shot. They could have been killed. And that gunman would have had an opportunity to kill other people inside the school. There were 40 officers outside. Stop it. And not only that, they said they exchanged gunfire from the door. Right. I mean, I mean, like uh, that doesn't line up with the chain of events where the officers exchanged gunfire through the door of the classroom. And for what it's worth, If they were so concerned about preserving life, why did you fire into the classroom, you morons? Like, are we not worried about friendly fire potentially knocking out or hitting some of these fourth graders as well? Like, none of that makes sense. None of that makes sense. It's a terrible explanation. A schoolgirl was shot dead by the Texas gunman after police told children to shout out for help, a young survivor has claimed. With the shooter still rampaging through Robb Elementary School, a boy has said that officers who had finally entered the school asked 
hiding kids to call out so they could find them. A boy was hiding with four others under a table that had a cloth covering it, which he thinks meant the 18-year-old shooter did not see them. This child, whose parents did not want his name revealed, told how they were doing their best to keep hidden. When the cops came, the cops said, yell if you need help. And one of the children in the class screamed, help. The shooter overheard and he came in and he shot the girl, the boy told the news agency. The cops then barged into the classroom. The guy shot at the cops. The cops started shooting. The boy continued. I was hiding hard and I was telling my friends to not talk because he is going to hear us. So we've got a 10 year old boy who's, <laughs> who's a lot smarter than, than, than 30 to 40 year old cops. Apparently what, what These... a stupid, stupid move by the cops. Yeah. Um, Hey, Hey children, if you don't want the shooter to know who, you, where you're at, yell, yell, he won't, he won't, he won't find you. That doesn't, I mean, that doesn't even make sense. It's like these guys have no training. There were people there that were part of the SWAT team. There were people like you, you, they had a picture of the Uvalde SWAT team. Apparently the Uvalde has a SWAT team. How were those guys not there? Like, I, I don't, I, I, there is so much about this situation that is just awful. Every single police officer on that force, the only thing they're good for is setting up speed traps in the town of Uvalde. Don't drive through there and break the, break the speed limit. Don't do that because you'll definitely get caught for that. And, and, you know, thank God for that because we wouldn't want people speeding through the town and potentially causing other people to lose a life, you know. Uh, you know, going 35 and a 25 and maybe we hit granny in a crosswalk or something like that. But when you actually have to step up and protect and serve, you're not going to do it. If you want to rob a liquor store in Uvalde, the police will probably help load the car for you. Okay. Yeah, wait, help, wait, wait, wait. Yep. Here, here. Yeah. Where, where your friend there? Have you watched the videos online from the parents are posting from when they were behind the yellow tape? Yes. Have you been yes. I've seen a few of those. If you, haven't, if you haven't seen these videos, they're on YouTube and Facebook from the parents. And you see parents saying it's already been an hour and they still can't get the kids out. I, I mean, I sit here and think if I was in that situation, like, I might go to jail for a while after this because I'm grabbing a cop's gun and I'm going for it. Like, I, it's, it's, this is my child in there. Yeah, 100%. And you're, and you're telling me to sit here and wait for Barney Fife of the Mayberry Uvalde Police Department to... I don't know. Hey, kids, yell. I know there's a shooter in here, but yell. Tell us where you're at. Because, you know, the cops were hiding behind the door. And they told the kids, they probably went in and said, yell if you need help. The kids yelled, but the shooter was in the room. Yeah. Again, how stupid can you be? That almost feels like. Now, this is, this is super disgusting to think about out loud. It was either incredible incompetence on the part of the officer or... It was literally a tactic for them to find out where the shooter was so that they could go in and take him down. So it was one of those things where they had to get the shooter to expose his position. The only way to do it was to get somebody to yell out for help in the room. Shooter goes, boom, shoots the girl. And now we have an extra dead, dead child on our hands. But, you know, we were able to identify the shooter. And, you know, thank God none of the officers got shot. That would have been a real tragedy there. Yeah, isn't isn't it a miracle that like none of these none of these guys have any sustainable injuries? None of these police officers. Well, I mean, how could you get injured? You're probably a hundred feet away behind a yellow tape eating a donut, going, We should go in soon, huh? Yeah. This is pathetic. This is pathetic. I don't encourage heckling people online or whatever, but I will say if you go to Facebook, you look at the Uvalde Police Department's Facebook page, people are letting them know what they think of them. And Rightfully so. Every single piece of this doesn't make sense. There was so much that could have been done to prevent the tragic loss of life that took place here. Going all the way back to when he first crashed his truck, after he shot his grandmother, again, there, there had to, there's so many failures on the part of everyone involved in this tragedy and i, I don't i'm not i'm not going to point blame at, at the teachers that were involved and, and no. clearly you know not the students I, I just i just mean those that were 
involved that were meant to protect these people failed on so, 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 so many levels.